Goop, Gwyneth Paltrow's company, decided to engage in a little bit of a PR stunt. It was poorly timed and pretty awful, and it involved children's diapers. So let's give you the context. And it came in the form of a post on Instagram. And this is what it looked like. It advertised the diaper, as, as Brett said. I'm like, Brett, how do you pronounce this? But here it is, let's look at the picture. This is what they posted on Instagram. And it seemed to be an advertisement for the goop diaper. It said $120 for 12 of these special goop diapers, okay? And then it had this caption which read, our new disposable diaper lined with virgin alpaca wool and fastened with amber gemstones known for their ancient emotional cleansing properties. Infused with a scent of jasmine, which does sound lovely, and bergamot from our revitalized baby for a revitalized hey, baby. They don't, Dropping tomorrow. They don't get yeah, it by squeezing a revitalized baby. <laughs> Like a, like a like a toothpaste okay. tube, you want to get out all the bergamot. Oh no no stop! Roll so it to they, the toes. they talk about they talk about this dropping um, uh, tomorrow at 11 a.m. at 12. I'm sorry, 120 dollars for a pack of 12. Okay, great. Um, so listen, a lot of people thought this was real because it's Goop, and Goop has had all sorts of insane products. Including like some sort of, I don't know, gem, some sort of like, let me let me look it up. It was some sort of egg that you're supposed to put egg. in your vag. Yeah, the jade egg, the yeah. jade egg. Like, hey, ladies, put the jade egg in your vag, and it's supposed to like, I don't know, revitalize it or something. Like, what are you let me tell about you, this? okay, it revitalizes. That's what jade eggs do. It, the vagina needs no no revitalization. Okay, it's doing fine. Okay, like we don't need the jade egg. But that, but again, that's the reason why people thought it was uh, real. Turns out it's a PR stunt and also a poorly timed PR stunt at that, right? Considering uh, what we've learned in regard to like the Supreme Court. And uh, I don't wanna get too serious and angry about that right now. Um, but John, yeah. assuming you were wealthy, right? Which you never will be because you work here at TYT. Um, if you had money to spare, you just didn't know what to do with your money. You had so much of it. Mm -hmm. Would you buy a fancy virgin alpaca wool, amber gemstone embellished diaper for your children? Not for my children. They don't appreciate that. They're babies. They don't know the difference. That's for me. What? Because <laughs> once you feel the soft caress of virgin alpaca wool, how do you go back to normal boxers or briefs at that point? Plus, I kind of want to be re revitalized. You know, they don't necessarily make jade eggs for us, but amber clasps. Ooh, that can make me feel so fresh. Uh, no, it's ridiculous. I, I hate that. Look, you pointed out obviously with what's going on with Roe v. Wade. I think also the fact that there's this massive crisis over the the you know the supply of uh, baby formula, which might not be broken for multiple weeks from now on. It's just it's not a good idea timing wise. But even if there weren't any of those contextual issues, what's the point of this? Like, is it supposed to be self-referential, satirical, or whatever? It's not that different from what they normally sell. And so far as I've seen, it's not like they're a massively different corporation. It's not like this is mocking them five years ago, but now they're very reasonable. This is still philosophically in line with what they sell. It's not far enough away to be satire at that point. I don't even understand. It's just gonna make you look bad. And honestly, this is the sort of stainedy reputation that you can't get out of that fine alpaca wool, I think. <laughs> Okay. By the way, these are just these were allegedly like you know disposable diapers, which seems like a waste. At first, when I saw this, I thought, oh, this is for like the crazy hippy dippy people who like to do the reusable diaper situation. Um, I know that's a I actually pain point for you. Yeah. A lot of people do that. Let's discuss. Let's discuss. Um, listen, I'm not gonna. I'm not. A right winger. I'm not going to dictate what you do in your household in regard to being environmentally conscious and wanting to, you know, use these reusable diapers. But I will say this: What is wrong with you? Like, but why? I get it. I get that it's better for the environment, and I get that you're a better person than most. Cheaper. I get it. But what do you? And it is cheaper. That's true. It is cheaper. But like, where do you clean? Like. Do you just put it in your washing machine? And 
What it, like what happens to the doo doo? Like I know you get rid of it, but sometimes the doo doo is not easy to get rid of. Like sometimes it's just like I've seen baby poop. Like what do you do? I think how do you wash it? It depends on how bad it is. I mean, if it's not that bad, then maybe straight into the washer. If not, you might have to involve other appliances. It might have to start in the sink, take a little trip through the microwave, maybe a little bit of broil setting, and then eventually into there. You need to chip away at it. In all the way, I don't know. I know that it's a thing no, that no look in the US, it. people no do it does. outside of the US. Lots of people do it. They've figured out no, ways. They don't. I just don't know. Yes, I think they do actually. <laughs> no, they totally do. I'm lying. I, I think in the United States, no one does it. I, we no should one. look for polls. I am sure there are some. There's got to be some people with kids in the chat that can attest to this. I'm sure it saves a bunch of money. You know why I think no one in the US actually does it? They might say they do, but I, I think they're lying. Because Raising a child specifically in the United States is a pretty hellish experience. Yeah. There's no support. You might lose your job. <laughs> like yep. there's no protection. It like it is awful, incredibly difficult and stressful to raise a child here because again, yeah. there is no support. So like listen, if there are parents who make raising children even more difficult than it already is here in the states by like hand washing their like children's doo doo diapers. Good for you. I just don't think you exist because like you'd have to be a superhero to make that happen. I think that's that's where my head's all at. All parents are superheroes. No, they but. are. They are. It's the hardest job. Yeah, like I'm like in awe of parents, mm -hmm. especially parents who are like Doing it all. I don't know how they make it happen. I'm not doing it because I, I don't think I can. But like so many people do, and they're incredible. So I'm not trying to get, go after parents, okay? But I don't know. If you do it yourself, if you're doing the reusable diaper situation, again, you're a far better person than I am. And I commend you for that. Share your story. We want to know more. Sort hmm. of. How much? Not more? really. <laughs> not too much more. Don't get too detailed. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.